the road The ground underneath my boot heels Burns right through my soul Right through my weary soul So I'm out tracking the box turtles today and I have located Catherine. She has moved about 250 feet to the uh, southwest since I last located her about three weeks ago. And she is in a location where about this time last year I found her in the almost exact same spot. Um, now it's a, a little bit of a thorny area um, below the Nature's Bounty Trail, if you know where that is, which is it's a little trail that goes out from the barn headed towards uh, what we call the turtle sanctuary here at Earthshine. And Catherine usually comes up here this time of the year after she leaves hibernation to feed heavily before her journey over the ridge. Uh, shortly in the next few weeks she'll be heading up over the ridge into um, a subdivision uh, where there's a small green, a green area of maybe a few acres in size and that's where she lays her eggs. And I believe she'll be heading that way soon. Let's go take a look at her. Catherine is directly in the middle of the screen. I don't know if you can make her out there, but oh, she's on the move now. Let's go over and take a look at her. There she is. Like circle around her here. There's Catherine. I don't see any slug juice on her beak, but I have a feeling she's probably out foraging. Because on a day like this, after a rain, it's been about eight days since it it last rained and it rained really heavy overnight so I'm sure the slugs and snails and all kinds of other bugs and grubs and such are going to be moving today and that is just what Catherine wants to bulk herself up before her trip over the mountain. You're a good looking turtle Catherine. Well, let's go see if we can find Jimmy again. I have not been able to locate Jimmy's signal in about a month. So I'm kind of worried that either something happened to him or his transmitter may have malfunctioned. Well, we'll see you later, Catherine. Happy hunting. So I'm tracking Zoe, and from my signal it looks like she's moved quite a distance. Um, maybe up to an eighth of a mile or more. And it's only been a week, but it is that time of the year when she goes on a long, a long sojourn from her hibernation area to the other end of the ridge to the east here. And I believe that's where she's trekked to over the last few days. Let's find her. The blueberries are fully leafed out now and very wet because we just had some some pretty good rains. Very hard going, especially when I'm trying to hold a camera and a receiver. I'm getting some kind of really strange interference, making it really hard to pick up Zoe's signal. I bet it's the uh, the camera here. 
Let's try over the head. Tends to work better sometimes. That way. Let's go find her. Lost the signal. That way. I had a bounce. Yeah. It's going to be a really good year for the huckleberries and the blueberries. Look at all the blooms, all those little pink flowers. Those are tiny little blueberry and huckleberry blooms. And these bushes are as tall as I am. Well, i got to blaze through them. Definitely straight ahead. Nope. It's the old trail to the waterfall. This, was, this trail used to be used by Earthshine guests many years ago. It leads down to a beautiful waterfall in the forest that uh, if you have been following in Zoe's tracks, you would uh, know that waterfall well because she spends a lot of time in the summer around that waterfall. Well, she's that direction, so let's go. See if we can find her. You would not believe what I've had to go through to get to the point where I'm standing right now. I just had to hack my way through a multiflora rose bush. Uh, that's a type of wild rose, um, and they're non-native, not native to this country anyway, and um, they're almost impenetrable. Box turtles love them. Rattlesnakes love them. I don't like them at all other than the fact that they provide great habitat for wildlife. Well, I hacked my way through the multiflora rose bush following Zoe's signal, and I've come to an area where I hear a creek. I can't see it, and I can see a field on the other side of the creek, on the other side of this thicket. I don't know where I am, and I'm going to have to be really cautious because I don't know who owns this land, and I don't want to get shot. Not too long ago, I heard some... Uh, what sounded like automatic weapons fire over that way, the, the direction I'm going. So I'm going to be really careful. I hope she's not laying right beside somebody's house. That would be <laughs> unbelievable. But at least I know she wasn't shot because uh, any bullet that pierced her transmitter would shut it off. Okay, so here we go.
she's really close. I see the creek. On the other side of the creek there's a field and it looks like it's freshly plowed. I have no idea where I am. Here we go. That doesn't sound good. There's a dog over there. He's tied up at the base of a tree. He doesn't like me being here. I'm gonna have to get out of here and see if I can find the snake another way. There is a house on the top of the hill. Brown. She is very close. I think she's right in this thicket. Maybe I can find her before people come. I have no idea where this snake is. She is so well hidden. It's, my receiver is saying that she's right here under my feet. She may be under this log. She may be on the other side of the, river, of the creek. Very hard to tell. It's so cool, I doubt she's out, especially near the dog. Who does not like me being here. Obviously, there's nobody home because nobody's come running down the hill to see what their dogs are barking at. I hear a motor. Uh -oh. I found her. She's right here. So that's where Zoe is. Down here beside the creek, as you can see, really close to the water. Only about two and a half feet from the water. She's moved a long way, but I'm not going to stand here and talk about it while this dog barks and draws attention to me. I'm going to move up into the woods to record my data. See you later, Zoe. That was nerve wracking. Extremely nerve wracking. Having to stand there while that dog carried on. And I tried to find a, a, a rattlesnake. <laughs> and all the while, thinking that somebody might come strolling down with a, an automatic weapon of some sort. Definitely not a good time. Okay, now, oh crap, I might go a little farther. Oh, I gotta go back through this mess. But it's the only way to get back to the truck. You want to see what I have to go through? Take a look at this. Yeah, so this is it. It's just a jungle in here. And all the way back to the, uh, to the trail that I came in on. Of course, then it's really easy going.
Hey, so I've made it through the thicket and I'm back on the trail. It's a lot easier going here. I'll be back to my truck in no time. But I just wanted to fill you in on the interesting data that I just collected. So I pulled up my location on my GPS and then I looked at the location where Zoe was a week ago and I realized that she's traveled almost half a mile. It's pretty impressive for a small rattlesnake. Well, then I got to looking at my, my GPS some more and I realized that the very interesting thing is that uh, I looked at the, um, the waypoints that I marked uh, for Zoe last summer down in the area where she spent most of the summer and those waypoints are not too far away. And then I looked at the locations for her overwintering area and they're on the other side of the ridge to the uh, northwest. So what I believe she does, and this is only a hypothesis, is that Zoe spends the winter on the northwest side of the mountain. She then wakes up, she follows the ridge to the southeast and then drops down to the creek. When she hits the creek, she turns left because she doesn't really want to cross the creek. Well, obviously there's those dogs and a lot of human high use area uh, in that area there. And then she follows the creek down to the waterfall. When she gets to the falls, she probably goes around the waterfall, obviously. And um, then at some point crosses the creek below the waterfall, maybe above, and, and then makes her way into the big fields where she can get lots of sun and feed heavily on rodents. Um, now that is just a hypothesis, but we're gonna follow her and find out what she does. This is gonna be some very interesting, a uh, very interesting summer, I believe, following Zoe the timber rattlesnake. So, that's it for Zoe's locate for today. I'm quite exhausted. It's time to go home and get some food. I'm not gonna locate Utsunati today simply because I'm running out of light and energy. We will locate him in about three days. So, what a day great day. A little bit scary there for a while with the, the dogs and the fact that there could have been people with <laughs> the semi-automatic weapons that I heard earlier. Uh, automatic weapons actually sounded really kind of crazy. Is a rambling man is a rambling